Happy Tuesday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade here with your afternoon tropical update. So let's get right to it. Things have kind of been in a lull for the last few days for the Atlantic Basin, but fairly active across the Pacific. Overall, we are still technically in that most active period of hurricane season. That usually is from the beginning of August through the end of September, with the entire hurricane season, of course, lasting through the end of November. So the good news is that we still are looking pretty good. Things are fairly quiet across the Atlantic. There are a couple of clusters of showers and storms out across the Atlantic, a couple of little disturbances, but nothing that is really getting strong, quickly developing or being monitored for possible tri tropical cyclone development basically over the next couple of days. So no threat for any of those systems to become a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane over the next few days. Off into the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, you can see it's fairly quiet. We've got a couple areas of convection here and there, a few showers and storms, but nothing that is really blowing up and causing any concern for possible tropical cyclone development. So let's zoom over to the eastern Pacific, and this is really where we've had just about all of the action recently. We did have tropical storm Eugene, which became post-tropical yesterday. That means it lost the tropical characteristics as it pushed northwest into cooler waters, but now we're monitoring this area for possible development over the next week. It would be slow development over the next seven days. There's no shot for anything developing for the next 48 hours, but Basically, we could have a broad area of low pressure developing where you see this orange area outlined here as it pushes off to the west and that area of low pressure could strengthen, kind of tighten up, get stronger, and it could become our next tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane out in the Eastern Pacific. But we've got some time to watch it. If it does develop, development would be rather slow over the next week, but there is a 50% chance for that possible system to develop. Of course, we've still got very impressive Hurricane Dora out in the Central Pacific, now just directly south of the Hawaiian Islands, but it is pretty far south of Hawaii, so they're probably not getting much of any impact from this, so that is good news. We don't want folks that live there, the vacationers, to be interrupted by this massive hurricane, so this is still a pretty powerful one with Category 4 winds, maximum sustained winds still around 130 miles per hour, movement to the west at 22 miles per hour and pressure at 953 millibars. Should still be a major category three hurricane over the next couple of days. It is forecast to gradually weaken, but like I said, the key word will be gradual. It's still gonna be pretty strong Wednesday afternoon with 120 mile per hour winds, Thursday afternoon, 115 mile per hour winds, and then finally going down to a category two below major hurricane status by Friday afternoon, and then a tropical storm by Sunday with 50 mile per hour winds. So the farther west it goes, it is going to run into an environment that's not gonna be as favorable for development. So Dora will slowly but surely weaken and is not expected to impact land. So that is good news. Back to the Atlantic, we're still tracking that Saharan dust. We've been monitoring it for the last several weeks, but typically by the time we go through August and especially September, a lot of this dust usually starts to disperse or kind of move out. And so once that happens, we are still expecting the potential for more of these possible tropical cyclones, depressions, tropical storms to develop, especially as that dust gradually goes away over the coming weeks. Once that dust goes away, we've got plenty of very warm water out in the Atlantic to fuel any future systems. Water temps well into the 80s for many spots, near 90 over towards the Florida coast and also back towards Cuba and over into the Gulf. Temperatures near 90 just about everywhere. The Caribbean, very warm water there as well. So there's not gonna be much to stop any future systems once we get rid of that dust. So we are still expecting things that could be pretty active in a possible above average hurricane season, even though things are fairly quiet for the Atlantic Basin right now. But you can see those very warm waters in the Gulf of Mexico and in the Caribbean. So that will act as that fuel to help these systems in the future possibly develop pretty quickly. We've already been through Arlene, Brett, Cindy, and Don in the Atlantic Basin. We've still got Emily, Franklin, Gert, and several names after that. If we do need them, hopefully we won't. 
but we do still anticipate that this hurricane season will be a busy one. Here's that latest forecast from Colorado State University with 18 named storms, including the ones we've already had, nine hurricanes expected, and four major hurricanes with those sea surface temperatures still very much above average in the tropical Atlantic and at record warm levels. That is still above the norm. Normal season would be 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. So we are still watching things closely and we're here every day to let you know that you need to still be vigilant. Don't let your guard down because we still have not reached the peak of hurricane season. We're in the most active couple of months, but the actual peak would be right around September 10th. So after that, it will start to go down a little bit down the roller coaster. Not quite as busy, usually at least, but we've got all the way until the end of November before we can say all clear. So make sure that you stay prepared for anything to happen at any time. I don't think we'll have anything headed our way over the next week, but after that, all bets are off. You never know. Those systems can develop quickly with that very warm water in place. So we'll be monitoring things closely for you and updating you day by day. Make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app for all of your tropical weather updates, your forecast cones, follow me feature, hurricane watches and warnings, and lots of other important information you can get on our Fox 26 weather app. When you download that on your phone, you have it anywhere you are, everywhere you go, you can get those radar updates, turn those alerts on, get any watches, warnings for severe storms, for tropical systems, and everything in between. So definitely grab our Fox 26 weather app. And of course, we're here every day to keep you posted on the tropics. That is what is happening for your Tuesday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.